What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here. I am actually in the Nasty Red all the way down at one of my properties here. And uh, we're gonna be picking up my bigger trailer, my 20 foot trailer from the in-laws place that I've been keeping it at. So we're gonna be picking it up and possibly picking up a Jeep. And no, not a Jeep like the one that I bought as a toy for a few hundred bucks way back last uh, winter but a jeep that i'm actually going to be buying if if i end if i end up buying this if for some reason there's anything wrong with it like ac doesn't work heat doesn't work doesn't drive good um rusted out or whatever then obviously i won't buy it but uh, i'm buying a vehicle for my grandmother to trade her for my grandfather's truck and if you guys know what truck i'm talking about it's the truck that i bought for my grandfather uh, a little over four years ago now possibly picking up a jeep for my grandmother something that's comfortable to drive in has four-wheel drive ac and heat no crazy amount of miles on it but just a good comfortable reliable backup vehicle in case she ever comes to problems with her current daily driver that's something that i offered up to her you know because when i bought the truck you know before anybody's like oh my gosh you know you bought it for your grandpa as a gift you know she should give it to you for free because I've I'm only mentioning that because I've already seen comments about that. You don't buy gifts for people with strings attached where then they owe you something for it or you feel entitled to it down the road at any point. That's not how gifts work. I bought that truck for my grandfather as a gift to do what he wanted with it. Whether he drove it, other people drove it, they use it as a loaner, it didn't matter. If it made him happy to have the truck, that's why I bought it. So I offered to either pay her cash value for the truck or buy her something of similar value in trade for the truck. That way she still had a backup vehicle in case hers ends up being in the shop because having one vehicle and then having car troubles, that can kind of suck and get kind of frustrating when you don't have anything else to fall back on while you have a car in the shop for a few days, which inevitably will happen at the worst timing. So we're gonna check this thing out. If it works out, cool, because that means we're gonna be taking her, a Jeep, and picking up my grandfather's truck, and then not right away, but in a couple of weeks, go up and pick up his WD-45 Alice Chalmers tractor and bush hog, and getting to work on those two things, and getting those back in tip-top shape. It's something that I feel like I would love to do, and I'm not gonna regret when I look back on it. And with his truck, it's never gonna be a giveaway. It's never gonna be a truck that ends up you know, getting pushed aside. I mean, it's gonna be a truck that we, we get it all done and then we just kind of maintain it, maybe do small build modifications here and there, but for the most part, just keep it in good condition, keep it running good and healthy and just hold on to it for a long time until further notice. So that's the plan with that truck. I don't have any big plans with it other than getting it all redone in terms of paint and bodywork and stuff, but we'll get into those details whenever we get the truck picked up, which is hopefully in a few videos here. Well, we did get the Jeep and it is a Jeep Patriot. It's all loaded up and ready to go. I test drove it, it drove really good and it seemed like a good deal for the car. And I mean, it's got like one little teeny tiny speck of rust on the body and even behind the little like rocker guards that are plastic and stuff. I pulled those up and looked behind there and stuff and it was it was clean. There was no rot or rust under there. There's surface rust underneath obviously, but that's just because it's hard to clean under there, but no holes of any kind from rust anywhere. AC blows cold, heat got super hot. Obviously it's summer right now, early fall. Everything checked out and we're actually gonna be selling the CRV as well. There's a little bit to discuss on that topic, but essentially, uh, the AC in the CRV is no longer cold. We haven't been driving it anyways. And actually, ever since we got Nasty Red in the third gen, we haven't been driving the CRV anyway. So it's one of those things where you know, it's just sitting around and we're just gonna part ways with the CRV, sell it. And uh, of course, we're obviously bringing this home, which is for my grandmother, but we're gonna be also picking up my grandfather's pickup truck, which has ice cold AC and stuff as well. So at least while it's not getting paintwork done and whatnot, in between working on it, between the third gen, Massey Red, Rosine, my grandpa's truck, I mean, we'll, we'll have plenty of vehicles to drive. Like we don't need the ZRV, uh, but we are possibly gonna be getting something a little nicer that we're gonna pay cash for before winter is hopefully what we do. But that's just kind of the goal. We have some other goals of things, but um, if we can get our other goals hit fast enough, uh, the goal is to pick up 
something nicer that we pay cash for than a lot nicer than CRV. It might even be a newer diesel truck and pay cash for that and just, yeah, just do it. Some people don't understand me and they don't understand why I buy the things that I buy or why I do things in the order I do things in, but it just is what it is and we have a plan a lot of people don't understand. They see the plan and they go, you know what? I'd rather have 15 things with loans on them and take 30 years to pay it off than, you know, take 15 years to have everything you ever wanted, so to speak, and actually just go slow and pay cash for everything as you go. And I don't know, that's just kind of the way we want to do things, Reagan and I, and we both have an understanding of that goal, and that's what we're trying to do. And I don't think it's going to take us 15 years to hit all the goals we want to hit, but the big, big goals that we have of like paying cash for our dream home and paying cash for her dream truck our dream truck. I'm not even going to act like it's just her dream truck. It's my dream truck too, which is another Longhorn 4th Gen. And that's just been our goal and that's what we want to do. If you don't understand it, cool. But if you do, awesome. Um, I'm not going to judge you for your goals and I hope you don't judge me for mine, but let's get on the road and get this thing back. And then I do think it needs to go through Mike's car wash because it's pretty dusty from sitting out there for sale the last few days, right next to a bunch of gravel because they're doing construction. So it's pretty dusty, but we're going to get it back take it through the car wash and it's a pretty sweet little car but i'm guessing you guys care a little bit more about sorry about the hair tie i had to pull it out of the crv today when i was cleaning it out i don't know why i put it on my put it on my wrist and i just never took it off anyways um you guys probably care a little bit more about nasty red's performance towing this monstrous lightweight jeep more than the jeep itself or why i picked it up yeah so i filled it up when we were in fort wayne and we went all the way down to almost to muncie indiana and we're on our way back already 20 miles and it still says i'm on full i mean these tanks are huge 30 some gallon tanks i love it i hate the 20 gallon or less fuel tanks in these diesels because you burn through fuel so quick it seems like and you're always at the freaking diesel pump it just drives me crazy but well, anyways we're cruising um Nice and smooth, got it set at 55, nothing crazy. You got a 55 with a cruise set and it does work on this truck. And coolant stays super, super cool on this thing ever since we did the compounds and all the other upgrades. Coolant always stays well under 190 degrees. Oil pressure's holding in real nice. In terms of trans temp, it never really exceeds 180 degrees. It pretty much stays around 160, whether it's got a small load like this on it or no load at all. It seems to be where it likes to hang out boost pressure is right around five pounds of boost and that's pretty that's pretty normal when cruising in this thing pretty much again load or no load when you're just cruising it hangs around five if i'm obviously like putting it down to the floor or like right now we're going up a little hill you see it builds a little bit more boost as you go up but for the most part it hangs around five exhaust temps run in between cylinder five and four is pretty much where it's set up in terms of the egt gauge more towards the back half of that manifold where it comes out of the exhaust side there and it hangs right around 600 cruising and that's pretty much where it always hangs like i said um towing or not towing it's between 500 and 650 which is actually pretty darn uh pretty darn good that's pretty reasonable given the fact that even with a load like this if your truck's not burning fuel properly or not getting the right amount of fuel and air they can run a lot hotter than that even with uh even under no load so just keep that in mind and if you haven't seen the previous video we have a nice beautiful crack free dash now you know you like that thing looks freaking perfect but yeah so i've uh, been having a lot of fun with the nasty red you know uh, i've been putting how many miles i put on today i think i put about uh probably almost 200 miles on it today i think it runs great freaking love driving it um just cruising just a lot of cruising and this truck loves it the transmission and this thing built for pulling you definitely feel it perform its best when you put some kind of a load behind this thing it's it drives way better and with the airbags on the back end of this thing and this thing being a three-quarter ton with a load this thing drives so so smooth with no load it's a little bit bouncy in the rear end but that's because we mostly always keep the airbags inflated most of the way so that probably doesn't help but so far so good this thing is a champ well we made it back crv's for sale we got the jeep unloaded thing runs awesome 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 guys did a great job all the way down and back 
couldn't be happier with how it pulled and excited to have my trailer back even though i never use it and i probably won't use it uh very much even though it's back it's just kind of nice seeing it in the driveway i don't know some people might not like seeing equipment in the driveway i kind of like it it kind of makes it look like we actually got stuff going on around here we got trailers and stuff you know for the most part we don't really use it uh but it is a great trailer very lightly used use it to haul the tractor a few times a couple pickup trucks but it's something you hardly use but you're glad you have it when you need it if that makes sense and i definitely think it's worth having for those couple occasions you need it now we are going to go over the jeep that we just picked up from my grandmother we got to do a couple things on it for servicing it but do not forget that if you want to get entered to win this beautiful eighty-five thousand mile third gen cummins plus five thousand dollars cash all you do is go to lmpg.com buy anything on the store it could be a hat a shirt a hoodie anything on the store we got all kinds of gear and socks and backpacks laptop cases i mean we got all sorts of stuff the winner for this truck is actually coming up tomorrow so that's where this one's going for that giveaway winner daniel reynolds out of south carolina but you could be next with this one 85,000 mile truck i think it's freaking beautiful it's dirty right now because it poured rain last night and road dirt and debris you know how that goes but the thing is freaking gorgeous somebody's got to take it home might as well be you and every one dollar is one entry on the store right now for all products except for mystery boxes mystery boxes you can still get 20x entries when you order those when you initially see the mystery boxes it says that they're not 20x but when you click on it you read the description it does inform you that you do in fact get 20x entries for those mystery boxes throughout the entire giveaway and that's the only product that offers 20x entries no matter what and that's because you are making a commitment to a monthly subscription box therefore when you're doing that to support the brand we just feel like you should get a little bit more incentive to be able to do that nice side about that too is then you never miss out on 20x it's not like oh am i gonna get in in time before 20x is over it's, or whatever it's like if you buy that you're guaranteed to get 20x so here it is it is a 2008 jeep patriot and it is trail rated in case you're wondering it's actually pretty darn nice inside it's got the full leather interior it's actually super comfortable the seats are super nice it's actually got the jensen head unit in it already that's touchscreen. it's got some it's got a navigation chip in it and stuff volume controls on the back of the steering wheel skip for radio or music on the back of the wheel as well 150,000 miles and uh, they've said it's always ran great for them they've never had any issues with it you know other than basic maintenance stuff like they just replace the like ball joints or tie rod ends or couple other small like front end wear parts apparently they were in getting the tires rotated or new tires put on and they just suggested that they do some front end stuff so they just got that done on it other than that they said everything else is perfectly fine on it and they've never had any major issues with it at all so this is what we bought to swap my grandmother out for my grandfather's truck that i bought him years back because she wants to still have a decent four-wheel drive comfortable backup vehicle because where she does live in ohio it does get they do get a lot of snow at times and it is very hilly and they just have more demand for four-wheel drive vehicle over there so you know we got her this i think it's comfortable i think it's super comfortable i've been driving around the last day um since i last filmed with you guys and it's been great i mean it, it gets good fuel mileage it says it's averaging 25 i mean it's comfortable it's way quieter and more soundproof than even like you know the crv over there those are just more utilitarian oriented more than comfort more than anything else like what this is more geared toward interior wise so i mean i think it'll be a great car for us so what we're going to do though is we got to change out the oil and put a new filter on that way it is good to go because it does say on the sticker that the oil change is doing about 600 miles so i might as well just do it now that way when it gets to her she's good for the next 5,000 miles the oil and oil filters changed levels are good coolant's good everything's good car runs amazing so we're gonna leave it at that note here in terms of the jeep patriot i just want you guys to know why i bought it so you guys aren't wondering because i really don't care for jeep patriots but i do care uh to have my grandfather's truck so this is this is what we're gonna do to get that truck uh to trade it out for it so i'm super stoked super excited to have that so we can get to working on that thing and fixing it back up nasty red did awesome if you guys are paying attention to what i was saying um in the previous clips about nasty red how it was towing cruising down the road 
Um, this thing's this isn't a heavy car. It might be a few thousand pounds, but this thing handled it super well with that big 20 foot car hauler on top of that with the cruise set didn't skip a beat thing runs super cool and efficient all the time now with the compounds that we put on it a while back and it's just there's no better way to go on these trucks like if you want the best of both worlds like low end and high end compound kits especially the pusher compound kit specifically because that's what we're running haven't had a single issue with it and would super highly recommend it they're good i think this kit's good for like a thousand horsepower the way it's set up if we really wanted to go all out with all the fuel mods and all the air and everything else this truck's probably the making between five and six hundred if you were to dyno it i mean that's what we asked for in terms of uh what mods to do when we originally built this truck we talked to several companies we said what's a build spec list to make this truck make this amount of horsepower with this compound kit and whatever and that's how we chose the injectors and every other aspect of what we did to this thing that's the way we built it and the transmission built for towing handles super well such a champ of a transmission jim down at maximum overdrive transmission in red Indiana builds an awesome transmission for these things he does all different types of transmission builds whether you want it for you know a dodge a ford a chevy whatever it doesn't matter and whether you want it to be a high performance transmission you just want it to be a burnout machine you want it to be a tow you know animal like what do you want he can build it for you if you guys enjoyed this please be sure and leave a thumbs up if you're excited to see my grandfather's truck on the channel again and see some work getting done to that please leave a thumbs up as well and leave your comments down below don't forget to buy the merch and enter the giveaway for this month's giveaway for that black third gen because without those orders we can't do any of this stuff and i highly appreciate it you guys are awesome thanks so much for all the love and support we'll catch you in the next video peace